Sun Devil baseball transfer Nick McClain looks to start his collegiate career this spring at Phoenix Municipal Stadium. His older brothers, Matt and Sean, were both drafted out of UCLA and ASU, respectively. Our own Caitlin Parahinog dives into Nick's journey and the success of the McLean family. Of Arizona State University's 24 Division I programs, there are also several club teams that have either not yet reached Division I status or are in addition to that sports D1 program. One of those club teams is ASU Men's Volleyball. I talked to members of their team to learn more about their decision to play club sports and what makes this team special. Reasons for involvement in intramurals can vary depending on the student. Some see it as a way to stay in shape and get a workout in during the day, while others see it as a way to meet people and make new friends. But for some, such as ASU freshman Ronan Haycoop, they see it as a way to keep playing sports after high school. Thanks, Matt. One of the biggest pieces for ASU this season has been sophomore goalie TJ Somethingfelter, a potential candidate for goalie of the year in college hockey. Currently, he leads the country in saves with 291, 47 more than Ohio State's Jacob DeBooze. Number 9 Arizona State clinched another Pac-12 series Saturday evening, bringing their overall record to 34-7 as they defeated the California Golden Bears in a run roll 13-5. Their performance was fueled by an 11-run fourth inning, highlighted by a solo home run by Sidney Sanders and a grand slam by Jasmine Rowland. A goalie like Semptonfelter is exactly what the Sun Devils needed, as they have not had a consistent goalie since Joey DeCoy's last year in Tempe during the 2018-19 season, the only tournament appearance in program history. Semptonfelter's transfer to Tempe has earned him just about every minute in the net this season, after only playing in a handful of games at Northeastern just a season ago. With his continued success in the net, he will remain a major contributor on the ice in the Sun Devils' pursuit of a return to the NCAA tournament. And now, here's head coach Greg Powers on what TJ has brought to the team. When you think of Flagstaff, you probably think of skiing and winter sports. Maybe you'll think of the Grand Canyon. But it's not just that. Right now, Kira Robertson is going to give us a preview of the Flagstaff High versus Marco Denisa for this week's edition of the Future Stars Report. What's your favorite part of this arena so far? Thanks guys. While it certainly is a controversial move for Pooch that will earn its share of hate, as all LIV Tour members have, his ASU career will certainly be one to remember. The most embarrassing statistic on Saturday? A mere six rushing yards by the Sun Devils, the lowest in a single game in school history, and a metric that largely had to do with Jones' five sacks for 45 yards and a review targeting no-call. Here's Jones after the game. 